Konnichiwa, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, you all know me as, as Lisa Murkowski, Alaska, but uh, my adopted Clinket name is Anchiwatki, a name that I'm very proud of, Lady of the Land. Um, I have come to I have great respect for those who are not only sharing their culture, uh, but sharing their languages, preserving their identity. And so being able to work with you and the Vice Chairman and so many on this committee to ensure that we, we uh, look to our native cultural languages, our heritage languages, with, a, with an eye towards revitalization, what we can be doing is so very, very important because we say it all the time, but I think when a native person knows their language, they know their culture, they know who they are, it's part of their identity. We see that in academic performance, we see it in social indicators, we just see the value. We, uh, following Senator Schatz's comments, um, know what it means to, to lose languages at a rapid pace. Uh, the late Chief Marie Smith-Jones was the last full-blooded EAC, she was the last fluent speaker of the EAC language. She was a fierce activist for Native American rights. Um, but when she passed in 2008, um, the EAC language went dormant. Today in Alaska, we have five ANA language grants. Um, one that I'd like to just address very briefly here is, is a preservation and maintenance grant that uh, the community of Igiagic is, is, is implementing. And they have a project that they have entitled, We All Speak Lake Iliamna Yupik. And when they applied for their grant, they figured that there were only 23 fluent speakers of this dialect left that were still living. In the past three years, this grant has, uh, has taken apprenticeships that are starting uh, in, the, in the preschools, a preschool immersion program teaching Yupik with the children there, taught by a master, taught by an apprentice. Um, we too have the, the language nest, we call it Unglu, which is Yupik for nest. It's taught by a speaker, an elder by the name of Annie Wilson. Annie was born and raised there in Igiak. She's currently one of the last 23 fluent speakers that are there. But again, what we're seeing in the young children, what we're seeing and the results uh, coming out of the school, measurements of academic success have been really uh, extraordinarily impressive. Igiagic School has a perfect five-star rating on our Alaska School Performance Index. Um, our Igiagic students perform at some of the highest levels in the state, and we think that much of this can be traced back to, again, a sense of identity, a sense of self, and, and truly, um, a purpose. I have a longer statement that I would ask to be included as part of the record, but I thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the committee uh, hearing today and for those who work so hard to preserve and revitalize our, our native languages.